Rhodes reminisces about Klusener's remarkable performance at the 1999 World Cup. Former South African cricketer Jaunty Rhodes believes that Lance Klusener's remarkable display at the 1999 ICC Men's Cricket World Cup remains as one of the most outstanding individual efforts in the history of the tournament. Klusener showcased some of the most powerful hitting ever witnessed in the one-day format, accumulating a total of 281 runs at an impressive average of 140.50 during the seventh edition of the 50-over showcase. Klusener's outstanding performance almost single-handedly propelled the Proteas towards their first World Cup title. South Africa's dream of making it to their maiden World Cup final, however, was cruelly shattered when they narrowly lost a nail-biting semi-final against Australia at Edgbaston. The Proteas were thwarted by a legendary performance from champion spinner Shane Warne and a memorable run out of Alan Donald in the final over, resulting in a tied match. While several players have surpassed Klusener's run total in more recent editions of the World Cup, none have achieved it quite like the powerful left-hander did, predominantly batting at number 7, number 8, and number 9. Rhodes believes that Klusener's contribution still holds its ground. Klusener almost single-handedly got us to the final, Rhodes recalled. We tied the semi-final against Australia at Edgbaston, and Lance Klusener was unbeaten throughout the tournament. The consistency and power he displayed were remarkable. He won games for us from incredibly challenging situations. Despite the intensity of the moment, he remained composed and unwavering. Rhodes revealed that upon their return to South Africa after the 1999 World Cup, Klusener and Donald faced criticism from fans. However, Rhodes emphasized that the failure to progress to the final was not solely their responsibility but also the result of poor batting performances, including his own. The bravery I witnessed was when Alan Donald and Lance Klusener faced the criticism upon returning to South Africa, Rhodes said. While there were some critiques, a significant portion of the blame should have been directed towards the batters, such as myself and Jacques Callas, who failed to finish the game despite being in a promising position. The two of them handled the situation admirably. Bravery is one of the nine Navarasa emotions associated with the 2023 World Cup, and Rhodes believes that Klusener and Donald's response to missing out on the final 24 years ago perfectly exemplified this quality. Alan Donald and Lance Klusener responded to the criticism with resilience and there were even a few light-hearted television commercials featuring the two of them, Rhodes added. To me, that was true bravery. We had the opportunity to reach our first World Cup final, and there was a lot of criticism surrounding the last batting pair. As a team, we supported them because we understood our roles. Both of them had to continue playing for South Africa, and their bravery was not fleeting but represented a united front, garnering support from the entire nation.